All right, so now I gotta go to Boom Truck Madness and share it. Oh, fuck. Here it is. Let me give it a big like, a big love. There you go. What the fuck? Hey, 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 who's there? Uh, me. Are you hearing me? <laughs> yeah, Paris, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. What's I wasn't up, sure so, if I was uh, doing it right. No, you, you're good now. We, we just, uh, I don't know if, if you want to turn your, your camera towards you, because we're looking at your carpet right now, <laughs> or you can turn it off or whatever, man. Uh, let me just share this to the group, and we're live. We're okay. Live. There Are he you? is. All right, Paris. So um, thank you, Randy. Thank you, Paris, for joining. We're now live in the group. And man, today, so I was telling Randy, we're going to talk about the customer is always right. And what's going to happen is I'm going to share two stories with you guys. And just kind of, we're going to talk about it and see what I'm gonna, I'm gonna play that in the background while we talk smack. So, okay, so but before I keep going, if anybody's watching this and you guys wanna join, you guys, the, the link is in the group, just click it and you guys can join in the chat. Right now we got Randy and Paris joining. joining. And today's topic is uh, the customer is always right, right? So I'm gonna share with you guys two similar stories. Uh, almost the same, the same thing happened, but it was just, based on the, the customer, I helped one of them out and the other one got, uh, I, I told the company, like we gotta hit that mojo with a walk-up charge. So what happened with the, the, the one that I helped out was, it was a cash customer, which is always uh, kind of sucky because most of the time cash customers, you put up to the job site and they're already like, uh, you know what, I think you can pull up through the garage I think you can go through here, back up, back your truck up through here. They're telling us what to do. And it's just like, yo, like we need you to back up for a little bit. But, um, it, you know, we would obviously try not to be rude. And this cash customer, he, uh, he, he's building his, their own house. They have a, a, a bunch of land and they're living in a trailer and they're building a house, a beautiful big house right in, in the middle of the, the property. So he kind of doesn't know what's going on, just kind of following us around everywhere, um, telling us where to put board, where not to put it, but he's real cool. He's helping us out. He's uh, asking if there's anything he can do. Uh, calls his wife and tells her, tells, tells the wife, like, bring these guys some drinks because they're working hard. So, you know, he's kind of bugging, but he's got a good attitude. He's helping us out. And plus he brought his drinks in a cold, in a, in a hot summer day. Um, so that was pretty badass. So what happened now was he had like 60 pieces that needed to go up the stairs. And it was uh, like a sucky situation because it wasn't just like a straight shot. It was, we tried to bundle and it was, it sucked. But uh, he was like, is there anything I can do? Because, you know, I didn't know the windows didn't come out and all that stuff. So we're like, nah, man, like, you know, like we got it. It's, you don't know. Like, actually, this, me and my partner, we just took it up because he was getting more in the way. So when we finished, we just did the job. We didn't tell the office anything. Uh, the dude was, like I said, super helpful. I didn't even call the office or nothing. Um, so we didn't hit him with a walk-up fee, which the, um, in those situations, you know, they, the company charges extra to, to get the board upstairs. We make a little extra, but then we let it slide. So that's the, the first customer. The, another customer, which this is uh, one of our regular customers. We pulled up to the house and the window doesn't come out. So the first thing we do is say, we call the office, the window doesn't come out. We got to carry the board up the stairs. And they're like, well, just go ahead and carry it. Mm, we'll take care of you. So I'm like, well, you take care of us, well, how? And then, oh, well, 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 we'll make sure we charge the customer and, um, and you'll, we'll, we'll, we'll take care of you. So I'm like, uh, so, so you are going to charge the customer? He's like, yeah. All right, cool. So as we're working, 
the customer pulls up and he's he's kind of mad that we couldn't take the window out. He's like, how come you guys didn't take out the window? So it's like, we can't. And uh, the only way to take the window out is doing it through the outside uh, with a ladder or a scaffold or something. He's like, you guys have a boom. Uh, why don't you guys race up there and and uh, with a drywall and take it out? So I was like, no, man, like we can't do that. Maybe back in the days, but today, like that's we do that, we get fired. And he's like, well, themselves, you just got to take it out from the outside. So I was like, like, like unless you can take it out, like we're not, we're not gonna mess with it anymore. So he got a little upset because now he has to pay the walk-up fee, and. At this point, I'm also upset because he's giving us a uh, making our job harder by just being there. And um, so, by by the time we we start walking this stuff upstairs, he's still right there, like just bitching. And by this point, I'm like, you know what, man? Like, I'm not gonna carry this stuff upstairs. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it down here because I was pissed. My partners were pissed, and I was like, this stuff is staying down here. And he calls the office. And to complain, he's like, your driver doesn't want to get the board upstairs. Da, da, da. And I told, I told, I told the customer, I was like, unless you're gonna get the office people to come over here and walk this board, like, because I'm not gonna walk it. And I was willing, I was pissed. I had put it all on the table. I was like, if, if this is an inconvenience, like I'm gonna get out of the job site or whatever. And eventually the customer calmed down and he's like, you know what, you're right, I'm sorry. Uh this is this is in your guys' fault. I know you guys. No, it's like, yeah, I'm like, like, you know, cause we get paid extra to walk this cause it's a little bit harder work. And we were able to cool it down, get, get friendly again. And then he ended up giving us a hand to carry it up the stairs. So it, it ended up working out good, but he still did get hit with the, the, with the walk up fee, even though he helped us. So that's the, the two situations I have, which were almost similar but just the attitude of the customer just completely changed everything. Um, and I know you guys, uh, Randy was just telling me about other situations that, I mean, the, the customer isn't always right. Um, we know how to do our job. As soon as we pull up, we get out the truck. We know, you know what's the easiest, fastest, safest way to get this material in there. And then the customer says, I got a better idea. And so I was like, no, hold on a second. Like, back off, let us do our work. What do you guys think? Just keep Randy seeing that stairs. repeated thing in the, uh, in the warehouse. Oh, you, you're watching the, the, the video? It's, it's down, I don't know how to turn it off. I, I can see you up in the top. Hopefully you can see me. Yeah, yeah, we can see you. When, when you okay. when you talk, the camera turns turns over to you. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I'm just playing this video in the background just because I, I found it on YouTube, and uh, I was like, "Get it!" I'm I'm gonna play it as 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 we have this meeting today. See, there's a bunch of of uh, boom truck stuff here. Well, I mean, I, I agree with you. I always kind of, I, I mean, I'll be honest with you right now. Right now, I can't, I'm 60 years old. Uh, I had a real bad accident. So it's my guys that are carrying it up, you know, not me. Um, but, you know, if the customer wants it, you know, I, I mean, I try to get it upstairs for them. Uh, I still do some cowboy stuff. Uh with with a boom, don't tell anybody. Uh, just because <laughs> it, it's harder when you can't help, you know. When you can't, I mean, uh, I mean, I just wish, uh, I wish I could most days. Yeah. How, how long you been doing this this work, Paris? Two thousand and four. Two thousand four. Also, you you was that two thousand four? Two thousand four. Off and on. Now I go to the oil field when the oil field's running. Because the money there is just, I, I mean, I'm up here in Oklahoma, you know, and the oil field money is just awesome. Oh, is it? Is it better yeah. than drywall money? Dude, I was making $2,500 a week for Deepwell before they uh, pulled out of the city here. And, mm -hmm. and uh, I wasn't really doing anything. All I had to do, I mean, I was working 70 hours a week, but... Uh, 
you know, it wouldn't no be, it's done like drywall. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so you've been, you've been at it for what, 16, 17 years, maybe? Yeah, off and on. Probably of that 16 years, I've probably done nine or 10, you know, uh, to be honest, in the drywall business. Mm hmm. Yeah, you, 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 you ever had any bad experiences with customers? <laughs> I mean, who hasn't, you know, I mean, uh, hell, I had uh, this one guy that was, uh, you know, calling my uh, Mexican American guys beaners. And, you know, I, I, I mean, I tried not to, but I mean, uh, the guy would have, you know, my helper would have beat his ass. He, he's lucky I stepped in, you know, but yeah, I found that kind of, I, I, I don't know, you know, I mean, there was really no call for it. All the, all the guy asked, you know, all my helper did was ask him if he could move his drill, you know, off the rock. Cause we were going to, you know, we were going to add some to the stack and uh, I don't know. He got, he went racist and I mean, uh, I tried to reason with him and it got worse and worse. And so we just, we just left. That's the only time I've ever done that. Mm -hmm. Someone else went back and, and I, I said, look, I, I didn't want the guy to, you know, I don't know. Maybe he had a, the, you know, this Oklahoma, Texas. We were pretty close to the Texas border. I said, I don't know if the guy had a gun in his truck or what, but he was being, you know, being an asshole. Yeah, yeah, that that sucks. It's like, like, uh, so I'm, I'm Mexican, so I I, I can t I can clearly talk about this. So it's like a, like my buddies can call me beaners, but not strangers, man. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, there's joking around and then there's just flat out racism. And this guy, I don't, I don't know, because, you know, around here, everybody pretty much gets along. I, I, I mean, you know, on the job sites, on the construction sites, everybody's cool. But this guy, um, you know, he wasn't, uh, well, you know, he was the customer, but, uh, you know, he had a, a, a sheetrock business. So I'm going to assume that he didn't work with all, you know, white guys. I mean, th that just doesn't happen out here anymore. I, I don't really know what his problem was. I, and, and he was way too small to be uh, talking that noise. You know, I, I was like, damn, how'd you live to be? The, you know, he's probably in his 40s. So I'm thinking, how you live to be that old, you know? And, <laughs> but I didn't say that. Just those things were running through my mind. We don't do business with them either. That was the last job we, uh, um, ironically, the place was called White Drywall uh, or White Brothers. That was it, White Brothers. And um, yeah, we, we, we stopped uh, doing business with them after that job. Yeah, that was, that was the last time. Yeah, just, uh, I, I, I don't know, man. I don't know what's wrong. Maybe he was having a bad day, but. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't really like racists too much. Yeah, I hear you, man. And then sometimes when, when you're, uh, you know, this, this, this work is already hard enough. And then when, when you're working around that, that, uh, I guess that atmosphere or that vibe or something already went wrong, uh, yeah. you're just not, not comfortable anymore. It's already fucking hard enough and then you got to deal with bad situations and bad people is like oh man it just changes the whole atmosphere yeah well part of what his problem was i guess the front office had promised it to him a few days before but because of the rain we didn't get it out there you know there's just no way it was you know i'm not gonna get the truck stuck and then uh have to you know call the boss oh, i need a tow truck and you know 10 buck two because mm -hmm. it was down by the Texas border and it was, geez, uh, I think we were closer to Wheeler, Texas, uh, than we were to Elk city. And it's a hundred dollars, a hundred miles from our yard anyway. So, you know, sure as hell don't want to get trucks stuck down there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I hear that. It, it, hey, Paris look so sorry to cut you off, but it looked like this guy was about to put the lean on, on the out up against the outrigger. You see that? Yeah, I've done it up against the truck, but I've never, tr that's kind of stupid. Uh, I wouldn't try that. 
Yeah. That's what it looks like, but they they, they stopped the video before he did. (laughs) Yeah. You know, I I used to do that. Used to use the have to use the truck. Nowadays, I can pretty much pick it up where I want it. But when I first started out, I used. I don't know if you guys use the truck. I'm not. I just don't anymore. So so when I first started, I used the catwalk because I was booming from the seat and that's just how the guy taught me. Um, and then eventually like a couple years in, they had to re-weld all that catwalk. And it turns out that, that we weren't supposed to be doing that. And yeah. for, so from there on forward, I, I did it from the side, from the, from the side of the bed. And that's pretty much where I, where I do it. Um, when I need to, just like you said, I, I try to pick it up from from the hand I need it, but it doesn't always work out that way, man. One time I was I was hung over, man. I was hung over bad. I, I got the damn sheetrock stuck between the tandems. That was a bad day. <laughs> yeah. Trying to, you know, trying to do that. And after that, I just stopped doing it. I was like, fuck this. I can get a grip on it, you know, and my depth perception is okay. I can, I'm not saying I'm the greatest uh, boom drive, boom operator there is, but you know, I just, I don't know. It was so embarrassing to. You, you got it stuck between the, what, the tandem you said? Yeah. Yeah. It what? slipped down. Oh, like uh, underneath on the bed, like underneath the bed. But yeah, between the, the wheels. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah that's, yeah, that's bad. Yeah, that was fucked up. And of course, it had to be a job. There's two other boom drivers out there, you know, and and uh, you know they're giving me shit. So yeah, the, you 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 had the you had the pressure on you, man. That's what it is. <laughs> I was no, I was hungover, man. I was real hungover. I I didn't plan to work that Saturday, and uh, we went out. You know, uh, there's football game on, and we all went out to uh, Twin Peaks. And then, uh, uh, fuck, man, our our boss, you know, calls me. You remember you signed up to work? Now, I don't think I did, man, but, you know, I went in anyway. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it happens. I, I saw, um, so when I was, I was working with this guy, and he was a pretty good operator, but he, he, he was trying to blind pick a lift. He just, um, too much of a hassle to get, um, get out of the house because he had the remote and he he was kind of stuck so i was like all right i'm gonna go over there and look so when I'm, I'm when i'm walking around the back of the truck he's he's closing the forks one of right. the forks was in in the drywall where it needed to be and the other fork was uh, on the bottom of the bed and he's closing the forks as he's closing it i saw that one fork underneath the bed bend so bad i was like whoa 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 stop uh, he stopped. We we got it off, and I thought the I thought the fork was gonna be like you know sometimes they're like uh yeah like all stupid looking, but it, it went back to its position. But I've I've never seen them forks bend the, like bend like that, man. That was ugly. <laughs> <laughs> I I mean I I've seen some people fuck up some shit over the years, you know, with the boom. Yeah. What about you, man? You, you've ever done any, uh, what was your biggest, I'm sure you have, but better yet, what's the biggest fuck up you've ever done? Um, probably, I mean, it was, this was my fuck up. This is the funniest. I, 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 the others I try to forget. I'm running a, we were, um, we did a job at the Hard Rock, uh, cafe out in Tulsa. And, you know, I mean, fuck that, that building's like uh, 12 stories high. And uh, the boss, uh, one of the owners of the company rented a uh, crane. And I, I've got a regular, you know, it, from the wool field, uh, I've got a regular crane route license and can run them. And we got a hook and we were, you know, bringing it up to the, because, uh, you know, the, at that time, the highest, the biggest boom we had was a six story boom, you know, this several years ago. And, uh, you know, I was hitting the upper floors uh, with a crane. It's an American, old American crane, you know. 
hard to operate and a uh, piece of shit, really. Well, this electrician draw, pulls up, right? Yeah. And he runs he runs over my cones. You know, he's <laughs> down there, and I'm like waving at him. And, you know, he's just, he's got to, uh, he's got to bring his tools in. So he just, you know, just run over the damn cones. I guess he, you know, I'm sure he could see us working up there. So when he got up there, I think we were on the 10th floor that day. I asked him, he was big old, I'm not going to say he was dumb, but he was a big old mean looking guy with a bad attitude. I said, Hey man, you might want to, I said, you might want to uh, move your uh, truck. You know, I said, I said, you know, sometimes we drop stuff. I mean, it didn't, you know, it doesn't happen often. And he just, he said something smart and just kept on working. And I know the superintendent about maybe 20 minutes later, cause I wouldn't, you know, I didn't want to start work, you know, with that truck down there and get my ass in trouble. Mm -hmm. He just said, Hey, I told him to do it. Just keep on working, man. Unless there's somebody down there, you yeah. know? So I said, well, okay. And some people say I did this on purpose, but I swear to God, I did. I'm about, man, this is about maybe an hour later. And uh, like I said, it's an old crane and maybe I'm seven, eight floors up with a, you know, a whole stack of five eights and uh, the cable jumps off the spindle and goes down into the gears. It cut that damn thing. Like it was butter, man. It just, as soon as I, I didn't even have time to say, oh, shit. And uh, I dropped the uh, five eight sheetrock in the middle of the of his extended cab. And it hit so fucking hard, man. It knocked the, I, I, I swear, I'm not making this up. It knocked the passenger side door off. And so I'm looking over the edge. And I did not know the big son of a bitch was behind me at this time. And I looked down, and I said, ah, I told that dumb son of a bitch to move his truck. <laughs> and, yeah, I almost got my ass kicked that day. <laughs> oh, man. And I almost, I almost got fired. Everybody was saying, oh, yeah, Paris did it on purpose. And I'm like, you know, I'm kind of a wise ass. And I'm like, no, fuck no, I didn't, man. I swear to God. And OSHA come up, and, uh, you know, they cleared us. And that crane hadn't been inspected maybe I think they said seven years they've been putting an inspection sticker mm -hmm. from somewhere else. So um, we didn't get, you know, we got cleared. Um, people that, that got the, that had the crane, man, they got fined. Uh, I mean, it was just, a, uh, I heard it was like $200,000, but I don't know if, if that's, you know, how stories get bigger and, but, uh, and the guy, he couldn't come on. It was a Lippert brother. They're kind of big around here and he could never work another Lippert brother job again. Man, that's, that's, that's crazy. Yeah. Seven, seven years without getting, getting inspected. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's, um, that's pretty, uh, that's why we got, I guess we got such a cheap, Price on that crane. <laughs> That's what the boss is. <laughs> I mean, I'm just, I'm just lucky. We, we have a very good. I mean, I know the owners, you know, pretty much personally. When, uh, when I started with the company, their dad was making them run a boom truck. Both George and, and Ryan. Ryan was the guy that rented the crane, and, you know, I'm, on pretty good terms with them. They're good guys. Otherwise. You know, I probably wouldn't have a job. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was it was an accident too, man. I I, I think. <laughs> I know it was. Yeah, don't don't mess with rent. Don't don't mess with pairs, man. Because yeah. I mean, I hit a bridge. I'll, I'll tell you, what, I hit a bridge with some trusses. That was probably my biggest fuck up in. Uh, even that now it may sound like I'm making excuses. This is my first day back from the oil field. And I told the boss, I said, Hey man, that looks like that's kind of high. And he says, yeah, Paris, don't fucking worry about it. We've run four loads exactly like this before. And, uh, man, I, I wish I still had those pictures. Uh, I mean, it just, it, it lowered the bridge like an inch. It was it was 15 two. Mm -hmm. And I mean, when I hit it, the whole damn truck just, uh, stopped <laughs> for a second. And I hit it about 60. 
Yeah. That was pretty Damn. bad. I still get fuck. I still hear about that. So what, 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 how'd y'all deal with the damage? Did, did the bridge get damaged? Yeah. I, I know we got fined through the, through the ass. Uh, DOT come out and put it from five, two to now it's, it still says five, one. That was like two years ago. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. uh, I don't think I, that's another thing. I think he would have thrown me to the wolves, but I, I, cause our, our previous boss was a real dickhead, but I said in front of, I'd sit in, you know, front of, uh, everybody, Hey, I think that's too high, man. Cause you know, um, I mean, I've done a lot of loads of trusses. This is just on a semi with a drop deck trailer, you know, but, um, shit, you know, I, uh, and and I took his word, so I, I didn't catch any flack. But I got I got well, I, I got one ticket. But I was lucky. The guy, the the cop that was writing the tickets, yeah. was in the same uh, unit I was uh, in the military. I mean, ten years later, so he was real cool to me. He only gave me one ticket. He could have gave me about five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Damn. Man, that, that that's crazy. It's just amazing no one got hurt. Uh, it was because I, you know, it was early in the morning. There wasn't a whole lot of traffic yet. Mm -hmm. But yeah, usually yeah. that, the, I mean the uh, the uh, that usually it's just packed. If it had been packed, I because it it, it uh, I mean it reduced those you know uh, trusses into just a big ball of metal and tore it off the truck you know it hit one car and that's just barely it's, it's a, mir a miracle yeah yeah that, that's that's good not nothing nobody got hurt that's that's sometimes that was more important than anything man that nobody got hurt not even minor so that's awesome yeah this, this lady's car and she was kind of a bitch about it but she was cute too <laughs> <laughs> You know, she was she was cute. Yeah, I was trying to come on to her, but uh, nah, that, 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 was, that was that wasn't that wasn't the moment. <laughs> Probably not the moment, and she didn't seem to like. So many young women don't like bald headed fat guys. Yeah, it, 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 we're a, a niche. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I even got a song. You know, don't you wish your boyfriend was bald like me? <laughs> don't you wish your boyfriend was fat? Yeah, it doesn't work. Hey, so what one of my old partners sent me this, um, I think yesterday. This was about, uh, it's real hard to tell right there. Maybe I yeah. think two or three years ago, I dropped that lift right, uh, right on the, on the cab. I had a partner that did that. Yeah. <laughs> From seven stories up on his. Now this was probably, probably two stories up. Um, it was probably about two stories up. R Randy, are you still are you still with us, man? Yeah, I'm just over here shaking my head. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, so Randy, you you got any any bad customer experiences you want to share with us, man? Uh, the one that sticks off the top of my head. Uh, partner and I took off to this house, good size house, like twenty thousand square feet of board. And uh, get there, and, you know, you walk your job site and such, looking at the windows, and they were an Anderson window, and I can't remember the series, but they don't come out. So we called yeah. the customer to tell them, seeing, you know, the whole house is completely bricked in, except for the one side of the house that we could have cut a hole to go through. And they're like, no, the windows come out. I was like, nope, they don't. I've been doing this a long time. Every time we come across these windows, they do not come out. Yeah. And he's like, well, start on the downstairs, the garage, and I'll send my guy out there and he'll get that window out. <laughs> so we stocked the whole main, we stocked the whole garage, and we're still waiting, still waiting. And then all of a sudden we just hear a hammer just bashing the heck out of the window. Damn. And it did not come out until he did that. The only problem was, is, um, like I said, it was all bricked in. So they had to take the brick off the outside around the window to pull the whole window out to put a whole new window back in 
and all because the customer thought that they were right and the window would come out and I was wrong and it wouldn't. Yeah, man, that's, that's crazy. So, so it, it, you know, uh, even though we're talking bad about customer experiences, I guess, but in general, most customers are, are pretty awesome. Uh, it's just, you got, you got one every once in a while that, yeah, that just gives you a hard time or makes, makes situations harder. And you know, it's, it's like a big coincidence that sometimes the, the assholes are the ones where shit goes wrong in the job sites. That's happened All to me time. a lot of times. All the time. We had a, we had a guy in Colorado, we used to call over under Evans and, uh, every job he was either over 20 sheets or under 20 sheets and you're always going out to pick stuff up or drop more off it's oh, yeah. a pain every single time <laughs> yeah it sucks it sucks it works that way but it's just i don't know i don't know why that happens hey perry so who's um rally lamar oh that is he joining us He's 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 commenting on the on the on the Facebook group. He says uh, he remembers that. I think he's I think he's talking about when you hit the bridge. Oh yeah, he probably does. Uh, yeah, that was yeah. He used to be up and uh, he used to work for A and D Oklahoma City. He's a good guy, and uh, him and his buddy uh, his hunch. He's a really good helper. His hunchback buddy. Um, uh, Ansi wasn't, but uh, yeah, he's a good. He he works at A and D in Nashville. Oh, I can tell you some funny Ansi stories, but uh, I'm looking at that guy running that IMT boom. I don't know how. That's a Paul uh, finger. Oh, is that a Paul finger? Okay. Yep. I, I've never seen a white Paul finger. That's Randy. I. Oh yeah, that. There, there's one in Charlotte. Oh yeah. really? Mm -hmm. oh. we got two of them at our sister yard oh you know i think there is there's two there's one in one company and one in another that i've seen i mean i'm not bragging but i don't i don't know about you guys but i don't really swing the rock that much yeah <laughs> hey Mikey's he's got boy. a good helper though look he already he, he, he already got the bed clean well the the dunish he had more yeah. than enough time to do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's true too. He shouldn't have time, right? <laughs> Just saying. Yeah. Well, that's a dirt garage, or is that? Yeah. Is that, I never, I never had a dirt garage. Oh no. Uh, we we get a lot of that up here, especially in the winter time when they don't get time to pour them, and you're putting the drywall in first. Mm hmm Yeah, we, we do too. It's about yeah. Oh, we Sometimes don't we just leave it inside the house by the garage. Sometimes we put it in the garage. They're lucky that they're putting half inch into the garage though. Out here our our fire code's all five eighths. Oh, five eighths in the garage. Unless that um, is five eighths. It just doesn't no, look that, like half that, inch. That, that's half inch. That's what yeah, thought. we're lucky. We never hardly ever put five eighths in a in a uh, house so we yeah. put uh like almost every house here the ceilings get five eighths in the garage we always end up putting like 10 12 pieces of x and then uh, a lot of regular half inch yeah chicago's code is everything's five eighths so you just have a whole house of five eighths oh fuck that would suck uh, you, I mean, you get used to it just like anything else. You, just, you know, the, the best part about it is you don't have to, you know, go in with your half then go in with your five eighths. And, you know, it's just one type of board. Yeah. Wow. So, so, so these guys aren't the fastest, but they're, they're doing a good job, man. Look at that. They, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hell, I'm yeah, it's going good. I'm not the fastest at the end of the day. Could be one of those things in the day. And but now if you got me on camera, I'm gonna go a little faster than that, probably. Yeah, you got you you gotta flex a little bit. <laughs> yeah. I tell people I'm so quick you can't catch me on camera. <laughs> I tell the boss that he needs to uh 
uh, to hire a camera crew to, to, uh, film me being awesome. But, uh, uh, he pr probably just film me when I'm fucking up. They haven't found any footage yet. What, 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 what was there Andy? I said they haven't found any usable footage yet. Oh, for Paris. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I can say Paris keeps me busy on the madness checking comments and stuff. We got patrol Paris. We 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 hired Randy just specifically to watch uh Paris post. <laughs> oh man, some of my best posts get uh the the one where I, I Photoshop uh um uh Jimmy. Jimmy, yeah. yeah. Like I got one where he's going hunting and the deer's fucking him in the ass. <laughs> that one keeps getting deleted. Yep. Damn it. Yeah, there, there's a couple of people that keep us pretty busy. Hey, right Jimmy, there. Jimmy hasn't been on in a while. Have you guys seen Jimmy there lately? Um, I think he's in rehab. <laughs> not not so much. You know, every now and then I see a comment, but he hasn't been posting like he, he was before. Hey, look, these guys are fast. They already got the whole damn truck off. Look how he swings the boom, though. Yeah, he's going out for the last lift, but yeah, he's a he's a little jerky there. And with a pow finger, that's a little difficult to do. Yeah. But hey, could be the angles, could be wind, could be a lot of different things. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Could be the wind. Now that's that's something I've never done is put a uh, metal in the house like they did. They they put a little skid of metal. Yeah, it looked like um, their angle well, iron. That, or something. That, well, it was probably uh, RC one channel. At first, I thought well, maybe yeah. it was because it was condo units where there's a party wall, but the ones across the street look like single family. So, I don't know. Maybe it's just for the garage. Um, for master bedrooms probably upstairs and doesn't want to hear the car starting up in the morning and all that other kind of stuff so so you gonna pick that up like that mm, yeah. yeah i mean it's got a little bit extra lean to it but it shouldn't be too bad no uh, he's no he's not <laughs> like, oh, no. See, the, the thing is like since it's kind of a little far away from this well, a little far it's kind of far um sometimes because it's got all that extra weight that it takes a long time for the porch to close so yeah. that's why i was saying it did have a little but nah he's good he's gold yeah only his lefty he, he, i usually bring my right hand i'm the same way it's almost all right-handed yeah unless you need to go the other way you gotta be dolly yeah. dexterous yeah unless they ask for left hand then I bring it left hand, but oh, there's there's the five eights for the garage. I uh, gotcha. Oh fuck, that is a suck. No, but he didn't put it in the garage. Oh no. man, that dude's quick. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're helping him wow. out there. Wow, he must have probably dropped that in the dumpster. Just uh, they didn't show <laughs> it. No, I, I didn't mess with the beta, Randy. That's just how he did it. Oh, gotcha. Time to, let's go. Let's go get the next one. Oh, here's a fuck up that just that watching that just reminded me. I was I was driving a Moffat truck, right? Last load of the day, it was out by a park, and uh the damn porta potty was in the way, you know. First thing I do, I pulled the the Moffat off and I picked up the porta potty, and this terrible scream came in from in inside of it. And there was an incredibly pissed off old black woman. I thought she was going to hit me with her little uh, walker. She was really <laughs> mad. <laughs> yeah, I got to Boss thought that was so funny, though. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't get in trouble. I just yeah. don't, do don't do that again. I'm like, ah, shouldn't have been used to fucking porta potty in the first place. You know? <laughs> One. One of our guys, one time, he wanted to beat up a, a old guy because we had to block the, it, it was like a, a circle. The street was a circle. 
And there was no way to do it but block the road. And we're like, well, we can block it because worst case, they just turn around and go around the circle. And yeah. this, this one of the neighbors wasn't having it. He, we were unstrapped in the truck and the guy's in the back and we just kind of go like, you know, like you got to turn around. He gets off the car and goes to my partner. The way the way he is right now with a with a bar, that's how the the old man went up to my partner and he grabs him from the arm and he's like, "You guys gotta move this truck right now." My partner about hit him with a bar. He's like, "Motherfucker, don't you touch me!" And I was like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa!" <laughs> oh, man, I, I had to step in because because and then that guy that that was with me, he had a short temper. Like he was cool. Cool, but he was one of these guys that you just don't want to don't want to hit the wrong button and that that old man did <laughs> oh man yeah oh man all summer we, we we had these temps and i got everybody everybody i guess that's been in prison which i'm sorry i haven't been in prison but uh, uh we had a bunch of temps and i mean they just got out of prison the day before and they all had short tempers and I complained about them and boom truck madness. And I got everybody that everybody ever been in prison gave me shit. And, <laughs> <laughs> but damn, man, you know, usually when I go do a job, I don't have to worry about getting shanked, you know? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We had a rough summer. Just packing it up. I'm 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 kind of amazed how we're all uh, enjoying this and we do this shit every day. <laughs> yeah, it's more fun to watch someone else do it and then critique them. Yeah, it, it's well, easy it's to be a jerky. Uh, Monday morning quarterback. Yeah, we we need this guy to keep uploading more content. Um, what's his name? Your average Joe. Your average Joe. If you're watching this. Oh, well, let me see if I can comment. Oh, no, the comments turned off. Damn it. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> Let's look at his channel. He's got, no, he's only got three videos. Yeah. There's no way to message him, is there? Oh, well. There's surely some way. We'll find them. We'll find them. <laughs> oh, the delivery god. It's a delivery god. Oh man, I was about to end it, but let's check let's, let's check out the delivery god. The delivery god only mess with eight foot. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's If I have to okay. stack it myself, usually it's a really bad day. Like I don't have any helpers. Yeah, I've, I've had to do it like two or three times, but this was more like a because I wanted to just to split up. Jimmy couldn't do it since supposedly he doesn't use the dollies. Yeah, no, he, Jimmy doesn't need dollies. <laughs> Yeah. I used to run solo for a long time. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Make double footage that way. Shoot. I mean, do 50,000 square feet by yourself. You get paid for 100,000 square feet. Sure. Oh, man. I, you, you actually, you, you, I'm not worthy. I've never done 50,000 by myself. I have to admit it. Yeah, a lot of the time it was between 45 and 50, but there was a couple times over 50. Harris, Randy, man, I want to thank you guys for jumping in, man. Okay, well, yeah, maybe no we can get Jimmy and Cody uh, and Mike. I think Mike could be funny. I, I don't know if uh, Cody will get in. I, we, were t we were talking about him the other day, and, uh, man, do you, do you think he's a real person? Uh, well, the the person that when he used to post by the, uh, I mean, I, I've seen him post some really fucked, uh, fucked up videos with him uh, just throwing out uh, boxes of mud. 
<laughs> and I, I'm pretty sure, but he looked he looks different than his profile <laughs> picture, so I don't know. Yeah, we, we were um we were talking about it last week and gosh, I, I don't know. I'd really love it if, if they were if he was a real person, because man, that that that's Yeah. This guy's doing a good job. These yeah, guys get after a... it. These were the ones that um they drop the board at the houses and then they take it in and just stock it. Oh yeah. Oh, we used to have yeah. those up here. They got a lot of those in Texas. Yeah, that that might be where these guys are from, Texas or Arizona. Yeah, yeah. But, the, um, the ones you're talking about right there from Texas, yep. Yeah, oh, the, yeah, I see the inbreeding. Wow. <laughs> um, but, hey, yeah, they, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Uh, so, yeah, the, the one guy uh, that usually posts a lot of these videos, um, he's usually up on the Moffat, standing outside the window, has a few of the bundles kicked over so he can stand the board up and slide it in the window. But, yeah, these guys definitely get it done, that's for sure. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, my hat's off to him. Yep. I just, I just hope that guy doesn't take his pants off. <laughs> <laughs> I think this no, is the no, video. That's... That there was one video that uh, the guy that was filming had like a really weird outfit on, like red pants and some odd hoodie and his hair was all over the place and everybody just kind of gave him crap for it and i was just like wow okay <laughs> yeah i think I, I remember that well we, we gotta i mean we gotta stock in full jeans and we're supposed to have our you know a and d shirts on um uh, you know if we're out in a remote location and they take off their shirts and, you know i don't say anything yeah i've, I've took my shirt off like once or twice and a couple of years ago hot 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 summer days man. yeah I, I did back before i got fat now uh i kind of keep my shirt on uh, yeah for for everybody's safety <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's a whole different type of high vis. Yeah. Now, when I was in my forties doing this, I was buff, but uh, uh, this back injury, I put on the pounds. I ain't gonna lie. It happens. And it's just a freak accident. We were pushing a dolly in, right? I mean, now it had 30 foot metal on it, but we we, had, we were using the sheetrock dollies. Like, you know, that's all we had at, at the time. And and I, I was kind of pissed because customers said we were going to leave it outside. So I had, I'll, that's the only dollies I had, you know, and it was like 75 miles back to the shop. And but you know it's my fault, and uh, I'm I'm paying for it. Hell, I'm almost crippled uh, uh, right now, and uh, it just threw me up in the air when the you know when the dolly squirted loose, and I mm -hmm. landed on the dirt, and you know mostly on my head. But I didn't go that. I might have gone you know five. I mean, ten years ago I'd have got up laughing, but you know they wheeled me off the fucking hospital. Yeah, yeah, yeah. this is a bad hit. I mean, and I, I've been so, I was always careful. I always stole my, you know, and, and I still tell them this day, you know, lift with your, your legs, not your back, you know, stay hydrated. You know, the three rules of sheetrock. I don't know if you guys know these, uh, uh, lift with your legs, not with your back, uh, stay hydrated and, and Paris is always right. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> the three rules of sheetrock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I tell them that, but hey, you know, there's some people that's got their fucking ego so, uh, you know, so wrapped up into this. If if my helper comes along and he's got a better idea on how to do it, hell, I'll, you know, let's do it that way. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. 
You know, you gotta keep an open mind to learn something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, guys, so I'm gonna cut it now. Uh, but before I, well, yeah, it's just time to go. <laughs> I was gonna start talking smack about these guys, but so I, I am real quick. So I'm all for straight stacks, but these guys are taking too long. They're, they're taking too long fixing that. I don't recognize their shirts. Uh, they're not a major, you know, a and is really not a major company, although we're in Nashville. I guess, I guess, I guess they're not really a, uh, too much of a drywall yard because they're, they are using the, the Moffitt for that. Yeah. And they're using that big ass commercial do dolly. Of course you can use those for, for those commercial jobs. I don't, but. Look. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I would have been standing on the other side like, come on, come on, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, it, you'll get it right on the first one if, if you try it. Like right there, boom, let's go. They Look. do they're making a good stack though. I gotta I'll give them that. It looks like it anyway. I don't know. Maybe there when they first started, they, they might have got off a little bit. Oh, uh, those are a couple singles that were in there. Oh, is that it? Oh yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Beautiful. Good good way to win the call. Perfect stack. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. All right, guys, man. So again, man, thanks thanks for jumping in. And um uh, I'll jump in next Monday and see. See what we talk about. All okay, right, I'll, good. I'll see if I can't get old Mike Polak Mike into uh, to the conversation. He'd be a riot. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll get Mike in here. He, he was going to hop on, but he shot us a text uh, about two hours, three hours ago. Maybe said um, situation happened, and he's not going to be able to join us tonight. Oh, oh, I figured uh, his wife caught him cheating on her again or something. Yeah, no, not, not uh, something else. <laughs> yeah, nothing like that. Yeah. With okay. his helpers. Yep. All right, guys. So uh, thanks a lot, man. I'll see you guys next time. Okay, buddy. It's good, right. good, good talking to you. All right.